Every single minute, someone in the world dies from lung cancer. This disease claims more lives each year than colon, breast, and prostate cancers combined. The reality of lung cancer is a grim one. Across the globe, the statistics are alarming. Each year, more than one million people are diagnosed with this deadly disease. These numbers underscore the importance of early detection and awareness. Now let's talk about lifestyle choices. It's no secret that smoking is a leading cause of lung cancer. But did you know, exposure to harmful substances like asbestos, radon, and certain air pollutants can also significantly increase your risk of developing this disease? The impact of these lifestyle choices on our health cannot be understated. It's important to understand that every decision we make, every habit we foster, can either contribute to our well-being or steer us towards ill health. With such staggering numbers, it's crucial to recognize the signs of this deadly disease early on. The first hidden signs of lung cancer are a persistent cough and changes in a cough you have had for a long time. A cough that just won't quit or an alteration in a long-standing cough can be more than just an annoyance. These can potentially be early indicators of lung cancer. Let's break it down. A persistent cough is one that sticks around for longer than expected. It just doesn't seem to go away despite your best efforts. On the other hand, changes in a chronic cough could manifest as a difference in the frequency, severity, or the sound of your cough. You might also start coughing up blood or more phlegm than usual. It's crucial to understand that not every cough is a cause for alarm, but if you've been coughing consistently for over two weeks, or if your chronic cough suddenly changes, it's a signal that you need to consult a doctor. If your cough persists for more than two weeks, or if it changes in any way, it's time to see a doctor. And chest pain and shortness of breath are other hidden signs of lung cancer. These symptoms are typically caused by the growth of a tumor in the lung, which can press against surrounding tissues and nerves, leading to discomfort or pain in the chest. Shortness of breath, on the other hand, may occur when a tumor obstructs the airway or when fluid from the tumor fills the lungs. This could make you feel like you're constantly trying to catch your breath, even when you're at rest or doing light activities. The pain may feel dull, sharp, constant, or intermediate. It could be located in a specific area, or it could be more general. Shortness of breath might present as feeling winded, having difficulty catching your breath, or feeling like you can't get enough air into your lungs. These symptoms might be easily dismissed as signs of aging or lack of fitness, but they could be warning signals of something more serious. Fatigue and loss of appetite can also be indicators of lung cancer. You might be wondering how these common symptoms can link to something as serious as lung cancer. Well, let's delve into that a bit. When your body is fighting any disease, it uses a lot of energy. This can lead to fatigue. If the disease is as severe as lung cancer, the fatigue can be more pronounced, affecting your daily activities and energy levels. Now let's talk about loss of appetite. This symptom can occur because lung cancer can interfere with the body's metabolic processes. This interference can lead to a decreased desire to eat, which can result in weight loss. Additionally, certain treatments for lung cancer might also affect your appetite. It's important to remember that these symptoms are common to many conditions, not just lung cancer. However, if you're experiencing persistent fatigue and loss of appetite without any clear reason, it's important to seek medical attention. Unexplained weight loss and recurring infections are other hidden signs of lung cancer. If you suddenly find yourself shedding pounds without any change in diet or exercise, it could be more than just a happy accident. This unexpected weight loss can be due to cancer cells, consuming a lot of the body's energy, or it could be a result of the immune system working hard to fight off the disease. Similarly, frequent bouts of respiratory infections like bronchitis and pneumonia can also indicate lung cancer. This happens because a tumor might be blocking an air passage, making it difficult for your body to clear out bacteria, leading to these infections. To put it simply, your body is like a well-oiled machine. When something is off, it tries to warn you through different signs, like unexplained weight loss and recurring infections. Recognizing these signs and acting on them can potentially save your life. 
Unexplained weight loss and recurring infections should never be ignored, as they could be signs of a serious underlying condition. Hoarseness and wheezing are also among the hidden signs of lung cancer. This might come as a surprise to some, but a change in the voice or a wheezing sound while breathing can indeed signal lung cancer. So, how does this happen? Well, the cancer can affect the nerves that control the voice box or larynx, causing hoarseness, a change in the pitch or volume of your voice. On the other hand, wheezing, a high-pitched whistling sound when you breathe, can be caused by a blockage or narrowing of the airways, which could be due to a tumor. These symptoms can fluctuate and might not be constant. They could manifest when you're speaking for long periods or when you're lying down. Now these symptoms can also be associated with other conditions, but it's crucial to remember. Changes in your voice or breathing should not be taken lightly. Consult a doctor if you notice any such changes. The last hidden sign of lung cancer is coughing up blood or bloody sputum. This alarming symptom, also known as hemoptysis, is a potential indicator of a serious condition. It's the result of lung cancer tumors disrupting the normal structure of the lungs. As the tumors grow, they can invade and erode blood vessels, leading to bleeding that gets coughed up. Now it's worth noting that not all instances of bloody sputum indicate lung cancer. Conditions like bronchitis, pneumonia, or even severe nosebleeds can lead to blood in your sputum. However, if you're experiencing recurrent episodes, or if the quantity of blood is significant, it's critical to seek medical help immediately. Remember, early detection is key in the fight against lung cancer. Any symptom that's out of the ordinary for you, especially one as serious as coughing up blood, should not be ignored. Coughing up blood is a serious symptom that requires immediate medical attention. To recap, the hidden signs of lung cancer are various and often overlooked. They begin with persistent coughing and changes in cough patterns, subtle but significant indicators. They progress to physical discomforts such as chest pain and shortness of breath, often mistaken for common respiratory issues. The signs then extend to systemic changes in the body, like unexplained fatigue and loss of appetite. Unexplained weight loss and recurring infections are also indications that something might be awry. The signs become more severe with hoarseness and wheezing, and the most alarming being, bloody sputum. These signs may appear harmless individually and are often brushed off as minor health glitches. But when they persist and appear in combinations, they could be signaling the presence of lung cancer. Early detection can save lives. If you or a loved one experiences any of these hidden signs, please seek medical advice immediately.